Kind of as I got older, I realized that music was also about the human experience of it and how the listeners perceive music. So I got really interested in that whole process. Music cognition studies the human experience of music and how the mind perceives music. There's so many different types of people involved, like psychologists, mathematicians, and musicians. Also neurologists are involved in it. So it's very interesting. It combines so many things. It's very broad, but it's very new too, and there's a lot of detail that goes into it. In my independent study last year, I studied a lot of different concert halls, and I toured concert halls like Carnegie Hall, Symphony Hall. So something that was really cool that I learned about was how concert halls can actually shape compositions. So for example, if you look at like really old cathedrals, the music of that time did not have a lot of sudden, quick note changes. It was kind of holding longer tones. But if you look at a hall more like Carnegie Hall, which is a little bit more modern, um, it, every single sound can be heard and from every seat. So really detailed music, really quick music can be played in there. And I studied the Woodman Center. So I was able to see some of the behind the scenes, building of the hall, everything that went into it. And it was so interesting to see how much detail goes into a hall like that. Like when I perform, I never, before my independent study, actually thought that there was so much detail that went into a hall. And that definitely shapes the way I perform a little bit. So the Class of 48 award was an award to pursue an independent study, so I thought that kind of sounded perfect for me because I love my independent study that I've been doing and I'm really passionate about it. So they fund a trip to go you know pursue your interest in your study so I went to a conference in San Francisco on music cognition and we also went and took a tour of a music cognition lab in Stanford which I thought was really interesting and also inspiring definitely want to continue studying it in college and beyond I would love to be a concert hall designer one day that would be so awesome. Music does have like a lot of power to change people you know emotionally in many ways I did an iSearch project on music in the Holocaust, and an iSearch project is a project that everyone does in 10th grade in English, and it's a long-term research project. I kind of had an interesting dynamic between my mom's side of the family and my dad's side. So my maternal grandfather was drafted to fight in World War II, and my father's side of the family is Jewish, so I had some ancestors who were victims of the, of the Holocaust. There's kind of this relationship between the two sides, so I wanted to study that, and then I also decided to incorporate my love for music, and I learned so much about that, how Holocaust victims used music to cope 